Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Otter's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, four seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a guillotine choke and no! UFC heavyweight undisputed champion of the world, Johnny cemented it's in history you're the heavyweight champion of the world welcome back can i get a song yeah. oh that's awesome how does this feel it's been three years since we've seen you to come back and to have such a dominant victory you know uh, you know first and foremost you, you know what's coming i gotta give thanks to my lord and savior Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Without him, I would have never made it this far. And I tell you what, for all you prayer warriors out there, I felt you so strongly all week. And I just want to thank each and every one of you who prayed for me. Man, I'm so excited. I've been working this, I've been working for this for a long time. You know, a lot of people thought I wouldn't even be coming back. I would read that all the time. This dude's never coming back. Uh, but I've been, I've, been, I've been faithful to my goal. I've been faithful to the mission. There were days where I did not want to train, and I was, I was always there. I want, to thank, I want to thank my family. I want to thank my beautiful fiance, Jesse, for being my biggest support. I love you so much. My biggest supporter. My teammates back at home, uh, Maurice Green, Romo, Dwight, all you guys, all you guys that's been there for me, Enrique, I love you guys, man, my original teammates. I love you guys so much. My coaching staff here, Coach Greg Jackson, Brandon Gibson, Roberto Alencar, Coach, Coach Aaron Serianu, Coach Alex Xavier. I got one of the best teams, man. I'm really a product of the men and women in my life. Uh, my beautiful daughters, happy birthday, Olivia Haven Jones tonight. That just turned 10 years old. My beautiful family, my beautiful children, I love you all so much. John, you said coming into this fight that you thought it was gonna be a mismatch and you thought you were gonna run right through them. You did exactly that. Was it at all surprising to you? Is that how you envisioned it? Uh, you know, I, I really, I had the strong conviction that if I were, were to get him down to the ground, the fight would be in my area. I've been wrestling since I was 12 years old, and uh, I feel stronger, more comfortable, especially on the ground than ever. With kickboxing, you never know what's gonna happen. He zigs, I zag, you know, there was a major filling out process. I actually felt a little goofy on the feet. It's been a while, uh, but once I got my hands on him, I knew, that, uh, I knew that that's where I'm most comfortable and that I could take control. Now, you took no damage in this fight, and one of the conversations was about you fighting during International Fight Week in July and possibly fighting former champion Stipe Miocic. What do you think about that? Oh, yeah, baby. Y'all want to see me beat him, Stipe? One thing I know about the UFC, because we give the fans what they want to see. Stipe Miocic, I hope you're training, my guy. You're the greatest heavyweight of all time, and that's what I want. I want you real bad. Well, John, it's been an honor to watch you become the youngest ever UFC champion. It's been an honor to watch you become the heavyweight champion, and I can't wait to see you again. Welcome back, and congratulations on achieving your goal. Last thing. Bye.